How to make this interesting transition. Today's video is sponsored again by The Invisible Man. Bring a fusion cross dissolve between your clips. Make it 12 frames long and select to open it in the fusion page. Double click to the transition node, select the dissolve and double click to the background foreground slider to reset it. Go to the middle of your transition, bring down the background foreground slider to zero and activate the keyframe button, go one frame forward and set the slider to one. Add a transform node after. Make sure that you are in the frame where you made the transition. Go two frame backwards and activate the keyframe button for the size slider. One frame forward and increase the size to two. Another frame forward and set one more keyframe. Go two frames forward and change the size back to one. Now you'll get this rough zoom effect. Add an invert node. Bring an ellipse mask in empty space. Add a stop motion node and make sure that the mask is connected to the yellow point of the stop motion. Connect the stop motion node to the invert as a mask. With the mask node selected, right click to the center value and select to modify it with shake. Go to the modifiers tab, bring down the smoothness slider and hit the reseed button a couple of times till you get a pattern that looks okay. Go to the stop motion node and change the frame repeat slider to three. If you want, you can modify the size of the mask also with the shake modifier. Bring a brightness and contrast node after the invert. Right click to the gain slider and select to modify it with anim curves. Go to the Modifiers tab, change the curve to Easing, set the In and Out to Expo, increase the Scale value to 1.2, the Offset to 1 and the Timescale to 1.5. Your transition is ready, add a soft sound effect if you want, to emphasize the transition even more. If you like this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, you are free to go anywhere.